Yo, 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 and welcome back to the channel from Nosy Bee Island, Madagascar. So, yesterday the Samaru Festival finished. Um, the music festival, it was the last day yesterday, Sunday. Um, somebody got killed, unfortunately, yesterday down there, just where the um, bus is now, where that silver bus is. Not too sure what happened, but they got hit by a vehicle and killed in that location. Pretty sad. Also, the dog that's owned by the ex-landlord here, the guy I'm buying the house off, he's got, he's got three little puppies somewhere, and one of them got killed on the road here yesterday. Obviously, they're hanging around here, the, the puppies, and playing about. It's pretty sad, but what can you do? Got its head squashed. Here's one of the puppies here. Hello. Fat little things. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, follow me now. I don't need that. <laughs> yeah, um, Tuli Army member of staff looks sitting here. His dad lives in um, in the south in Tuli I call him Tuli because he, he comes from Tuli His name's Reviki, really, his real name. But I find it hard to remember that name. I've started to remember it now, but before, easier to just call him Tuli His dad. Um, ended up having an argument with somebody over cows going on his land eating his vegetables and the guy who had the cows had a piece of fur, piece of metal fur, same as this here, in his hand and stuck it straight through him, through his shoulder into it and it came out the other side. Not good. So the guy's been arrested for attempted murder and um, the father, I take it, he's in hospital trying to recover but not good like because obviously if it's rusty or something like that getting that straight through you in Madagascar it's a problem that sort of thing for doctors to cure that so hopefully he'll be all right but yeah I'm getting the um, water done today here I'm getting um, this water meter is leaking it's leaking here so I need, I need it moving anyway so I've applied for it to be moved it's going to get moved to round about here or something and then I'm going to get new pipe work plumbing for all the four apartments I'm going to come through this little hole here put a tap on this this pillar here and it'll get threaded behind this behind this wall here thread it behind there into the downstairs bathroom there into the bathroom here and then up that back wall to the red house at the top for a new pipe work system there I've got all the bits of pipe and all the plumbing connectors and the man who works for the water company he's going to come and fit all the uh, new pipes and things very soon he said he's going to go get his tools that was about 45 minutes ago still not back but hopefully soon he'll be back and we can sort that out um, the land dispute um, we've obviously we took the land back. We, our paperwork is perfect, and um, we've got the plan. We've got everything. So, the woman who stole the land, she's just crazy. Like you can't do that in Madagascar. Come on, somebody's land and just steal the land. It's craziness. Probably can't do that in most countries, but here, it's dangerous to do that. Like you can end up like literally, like two of our dad get get a piece of metal thrown straight through here, or get hit with a knife, or beaten up, or anything. You know, killed even but um she obviously doesn't know madagascar she's half malagas half french i think doesn't understand madagascar so hopefully she'll learn her the way of madagascar soon enough but um i'm gonna have to put get get them arrested for putting that barrier in my land because it's still there their original barriers there I've, I've now got instead of having one big plot i've got two small plots um so I'll have to get her arrested and questioned about why she thought she could just go on somebody's land and do that. Um, she's also killed the papaya tree, same as this tree here. She's killed it, chopped it down because it was in the way where she wanted to put a barrier post. That's bad. You don't, you can't, you can't cut people's trees down either. Fruit trees. It's very, very bad. Walls going up here. Second wall. I'm building a wall in here because we put the post in the wrong place so there's this back wall here was a little bit sort of 
on an angle slightly. So like a block of cheese now, you know. So putting this new wall in, there's still plenty of room in here to have a bathroom. So it's, it's fine. And when it's all cemented all up, no real ever know. So don't tell anybody, it's our little secret. And then we'll be able to get rid of these pipes as well, because obviously once he's re-plumbed it all, we'll be able to get rid of those pipes. Um, I, I want to put a shop here, a downstairs shop, a night shop, which is open like from seven o'clock at night till seven in the morning. I'm going to build build this, get it all nice, because there is no shops that have got that, that are open after like eight, nine o'clock at night. They're all shut. So the plan is to finish this shop, but to finish this shop, I also need to finish this front bit. I'm going to use these blocks, same as this. I'm going to put blocks right the way down to the road there. But to, to, before I do that, I need to put a canal in here, all the way to past the motorbike on the other side of those bushes there, where the canal is again. For some reason, the, the government, they put the canal in all the way up there, to all the way down there, and they didn't do it. Do this bit. Here's Wawa his limousine the music man of madagascar he's the guy who organizes the samaru festival nice the only limousine that i've ever seen in madagascar and it's certainly the only one in nosy b so to finish this off we need a door a metal door i need metal shutters i need wooden windows with glass for there i'm going to knock a hole in the wall here to put a door in the back there as well so which leads to the bathroom so that the people that are working at night time if they need to use the toilet, they don't have to open the door and come out. We want it nice and secure at night time. And then um, here, we need to have the cesspit. It's gonna go under this bit here where we are. So all this needs digging out, this whole area. I need to dig all of that out, probably about three meter deep and put like six separate areas for um, the waste the toilet waste to go. Any shower water or any sink water, I'm gonna thread from every apartment. It's gonna come through this wall here, go underneath this bit here, through this gap, and then it's gonna go off where this wood is, through the gap that we've left there. It's gonna go through there and off underground into, into the new canal. So all the, that's going in here is shit, basically from four apartments. Um, I'm gonna have to get a set of gates here as well. So that the shop stock room is secure. So they, if they need stock, they can come through the bathroom door here. We'll have a, like a Jack and Jill bathroom door, one for the shop, one for here. So they can come through the shop, they're nice and secure. They can get more stock. We'll keep all the stock here. I'm gonna make a bedroom for them out the back here in this room here. Very, very nice, but it's not just a case of just finishing that front garage. I need to finish this hole downstairs, you know? So it, it, it's done. That's what I need to do. I don't know how much it's gonna cost like, to do it. Maybe, maybe 4,000 euro or something like that to get it all finished downstairs. But I think it's well worth it because having a shop here is gonna be good. And also, if it doesn't work, I can rent it out to somebody Something like this, I can rent out for 200 euro a month or something. It's all right. It's an extra 200 euro, isn't it? So there you go. Got lots of work on. I'm going to go do the school project in a couple of days. I'd like to thank all the people that have started donating towards the school project. Um, people have been donating more than I thought they'd donate. I thought, like, you know, people would just, like, throw, like, two euro, four euro or something into the project, which, which even four euro, if... if if a few people did that, it soon adds up. It's great. But um, a couple of people have donated even more, which is really nice. So we're going to use all that money to fix the benches, try and fix the toilets up, paint the blackboards. And um, if there's any money left, we'll do some more, innit? Put, maybe put some basketball hoops up or some, get them some basketballs for the kids and stuff like that. Just make their life a little bit better. Um, obviously, the government should fix these the places up, but... The government, they don't have the budget to to fix schools the way it is. So, it, you know, all the schools are like that, that video that I've done. They're like that or even worse, you know. So, 
there you go. But nice day, apart from all the um, death, misery, and problems. Everything's nice. I'm happy. Um, got to go sign on in the justice tomorrow for my threats to kill charge. Got to sign me name, show them that I'm still here. I haven't escaped the island. Um, not running away. And then in about 10 days' time, I, I, then, I need to go back to the, in front of the judge and she's going to decide what, what happens, I guess. But we'll see about that. It's a little bit worrying, but I'm not really one to worry too much about anything, so whatever. It is what it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 